So I'm Othelia. It's not Ophelia and it's not Othello. Othelia um, is the name I picked it up when I get baptized at age 13. Um, and Othelia is saint for the blind and I'm considered to be legally blind. So I read Shakespeare later on, and guess what? Who are my two favorite characters? They are Ophelia and Othello. Ophelia being a young woman, not young anymore, but <laughs> I'm not young anymore, but yeah, woman in madly in love, trying to search for an identity. Uh, and Othello being a person of color in the leadership position, they become archetypal character of my life. I grew up in a patriarchal culture of South Korea as a woman with disability. I have a numerous experience of being othered. By othered, I mean I was treated differently as if my gender and my low vision were strikes against me. I came to America for my graduate study in 1990 in, it happened that was the year the Americans with Disability Act was passed. I was shocked that I was able to ask for accommodation for my disability, and that was acceptable and encouraged. But I quickly realized that I have no control over how my skin color is going to be perceived here. Coming from an ethnically homogenous culture, I was new to racism. So in many cases, I was the only immigrant or the only non-native speaker with an accent in the room. Luckily, I did well in school and I earned my doctorate from an Ivy League university. And after that, my competence was seldom questioned. However, my effort to overcome yet another form of oppression, racism, completely failed. And that's how I learned that social construction of racism in this country is the worst form of oppression that I would probably would not be able to overcome it in my lifetime. I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not a groundbreaking researcher, but I do research that is close to my heart. So over the last uh, 30 years, I've been written about and spoken about people with disability, immigrant, the homeless, and older adults. So my me-search truly become me-search. So at six months old, I was diagnosed with congenital cataract. So that's an eye disease that comes with old age. Since I got it so early, I think that's how I develop an old man's soul. So uh, my low vision is what motivated me to become a social worker and gerontologist. So growing up, there are many things I cannot do well, uh, such as sport, math, reading, in elementary school, I was fallen behind my peers, and I felt isolated and alone. So I have to develop some coping skills, namely I have to comfort myself when I'm alone. And I still use these coping skills, and I guess that's one of the main reasons that I achieved my career success. During the COVID-19, we all have experienced how isolation could negatively impact us. So older adults who were excluded from some of the social activity long before COVID were asked to distance themselves even further, deepening their isolation. Being alone and being old became a recipe for disaster for many, and many died alone, separated from their family and friends. Now, in this post-COVID world, I think we must think outside of the box and respond to these challenges better. Well, all, all of us, 
are going to grow old someday. And many of us might have to be a caregiver for our aging parents or aging relatives at some point in our lives. And there is a great de uh, demand and challenges in family caregiving because we cannot be there for 24 seven. So how can we provide care for our aging parents or relatives who wants to age in place? And how might technology be able to help? My idea worth spreading is that there might be a way. So let me show you some example. So let's see uh, what these older adults are doing with the doll. They are so engaged. Can you guess why? What they are doing is interacting with the doll-shaped companion robot, especially designed for older adults. And I asked Jihee, who invented the doll, why she created this. 단순히 살아있는 것과 능동적으로 살아가는 것의 차이가 엄청 크잖아요. 그 외롭게 계신 어르신들 보면서 수명이 1년이 남았든 10년이 남았든 하루하루의 삶이 행복했으면 좋겠다는 생각을 했습니다. So her name is Hyodor. Mama, let's go somewhere. Where do you want to go? Grandma, my feet are falling asleep. Can you massage my feet? Okay. Grandma, my heart is beating fast. So her name is Hyodor. Hyo means uh, filial piety and love for parents combined with the English word doll. And she resembles seven-year-old grandchild figure. And uh, she is programmed to dispense positive feedback through touch. And she has a sensor all of her body with AI features. Um, so studies uh, conducted in South Korea shows the statistically significant improvement of in depression, cognition, and quality of life among users. And as a result, there are seven, nearly 7,000 dolls were uh, deployed in the home of low-income older adults. And what is remarkable about this is that this is a, a kind of care system that you know caregivers are behind the scenes. So caregivers in this case are public health social workers, and they can monitor the behavior of older adults using smart home, smartphone app. And also for more detailed information, they can also look at this um, web monitoring system. And we also uh, observed that, you know, older adults became really attached uh, with the doll. And I was curious, can you really develop a friendship with a robot? So let me introduce a friendship framework, which I used to explore the human-robot interaction. Uh, according to Aristotle, there are three types of friendship based on the motivation uh, to form it. So first, friendship of utility is that uh, that's the fo friendship formed without a regard to the other party. So when the utility motive is gone, then so goes the friendship. The friendship of pleasure is based on the pure delight uh, in the company of one another. But as if they don't enjoy with each other, then friendship could be broken. And finally, friendship of the good, that's a philia, that's a true friendship, where the friendship could survive no matter what, because the motive is to caring for one another. So in collaboration with the Korean Community Service, we distribute this Hilda robot to Korean American immigrant older adults. And I would like to share with you what we have observed after three months. So first, for the utility friendship, uh, older adults realize that uh, some benefit of having the robot as a health coach, because she can remind when was the time to take their medication, it encouraged them to exercise, take a walk, or doing some guided meditation. 
and for the and that as time progresses they also recognize that it could be a playmate so they can sing along they play quiz games and Hyoda also offered this time machine experience where the robot led to doing some reminiscing work uh, or walking down the memory lane relax your shoulders relax your face <laughs> open your mouth a little bit when you open your mouth it helps relax your face muscles now relax and focus on the sound around you if you're sleepy you can go to sleep i'm getting sleepy healthy meditation and exercise with sunshine please don't forget to do it once a day 어때 때는 약을 먹은 후에 약을 먹으라고 말할 때는 아. 그래 할머니 알았어 약 먹었어 혼자 <웃음> 네. 이제 말하고 네. 어고 어떨 때는 잊어버리고 약을 안 먹은 거예요 제가 오, 그때 네. 어우 효도라 너무 고맙다 오, 할머니 예. 약 먹는 네. 거 급박 잊어버렸는데 우리 효도리가 너무 예. 어, 내가 예. 이러지요 그날 그 자리에서 저 산다 사랑을 하네 <웃음> 나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나나
So they are well aware about its artificial features, but they made a very conscious choice to anthropomorphize it and personify it in search of meaningful social connection and emotional support. Obviously, there might be a differential adaptation and acceptance of the robot based on the culture. So our research team is continuously working on doing more pilot testing and clinical trial to see which population could benefit from it. And uh, if proven to be effective, our research finding will have a very significant implication. So we can reach out to countless uh, older adults who are aging in place in low resource area, and we will be able to deliver evidence-based intervention for behavior change. One day, you are going to grow old, and you may have your own companion robot. Would you talk to your robot if you feel lonely? Thank you.